Hey guys, welcome to another episode of War Divisions, and this is the last day of the quick pick matches for um, June 2022. Let's get right into it. Really, nothing really needs to be changed at all, honestly. Actually, you know what? We'll change her to her monk job. We'll do that, at the very least. Uh, everything else, to me, is fine. Um, alright. So, hopefully I can get to gold one. That's what, that's what I'm hoping for. Um, wow, I'm rank 3963. <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, speaking of interesting, this is a rainbow comp. So I have no idea what to make of it. I'm gonna do this, because I see mages. Uh, the chances of them picking a mage is kind of high, but I can see them going Jume, Orin, and Cloud. And if they do that, and Curry gets his Frostbite Barrage um, going, then my chances of winning increases a bit. That and Celis does have Slash Resistance. And some lightning resistance. So she she at the very least will be able to take orange hits. Uh, and some of cloud hits. Depends on if they build a chain or not. Orin also got his mastery 2 ability. Which I don't remember off the top of my head what it is. I do know he gains defense penetration. Um, okay. I was right about one thing. They chose cloud. <laughs> um... Them picking cells was interesting. I guess they were afraid of my little Leela. Um, but they did chose more than Marrier, so my um, choice of Celis should pay off. We have to see. Um, it also depends if Curry could get a Frostbite. Okay, he got a Frostbite on both of them, which is great. Um, this time, Joker decided to do his, um, Bells, which I'm fine with. I think next turn he might do um, aim fire. So let's see. Uh, so even though Moore is going to be buffy, she's going to start losing AP slowly, which is a good thing. And if she does the magic attack, she is going to be onto um, onto Celis. I hope this one shots almost, almost. Curry moving up so close, I I don't like. Um, and Cloud almost got KO'd. Uh, Celis here is busy healing. Yeah, I don't, I didn't like that. Oh, <laughs> uh, he didn't get aim fire, so he wasn't not gonna stay still. Uh, I forget about Moore's limit break. It's probably gonna silence Celis if she survives it. She does survive it, and it is gonna silence her. But she drained a lot of her AP. Uh, Joker didn't decide to go to for Cloud. Um, I hope this AOE hits both Celis and Moore. Just Moore knocks her out, which is good. Um, but Celis is probably gonna try to heal. No, she's gonna do more mortar, more magic. All right, so Celis is gonna get rid of Cloud. So now it's just Celis versus versus Joker and Celis. Joker is gonna do massive damage to her. Um, enemy Celis knocks out my Celis, but Joker's at full health and it's gonna knock out enemy Celis for the win. All right, one win down. I just need. Two, three more wins, and I could get to go one in this session. So let's let's, let's 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 do it. Three wins is easy, right? 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 Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I could afford one loss. Um, of course, even if I do get that loss, I don't want the loss. Uh, I can afford it, but I don't want to. Uh, I want to at least get my three wins first, then get the loss. Um, nothing to say much about that battle. Him picking Celis over Jume might have cost him because I didn't pick Leo. And maybe he thought that I was going to go all wind. Um, speaking of which, we got two separate meta teams going. And they probably picked their meta team. Uh, we'll do this. 
we'll say Sorrel for last because she's the only one left. Uh, uh, maybe I should have picked Sorrel, but you know what? Asterisk is just hard to deal with, even with Sorrel. Um, so it was, it's really hard to say <laughs> if I should have picked her or not. Let's see how this goes without her. Uh, I'm not going to be able to remove the runic. Oh, they didn't. They went the other way around. So we might have a shot. Uh, let's see. Z Velis is more of a supporter than an attacker. So I'm not worried about him too much. However, he, is, he can be defensive. So he's not going to be easily taken down. Especially since I have two win units. Um, Lilia should be getting her per, her shield up pretty soon. Yeah, so everyone got a shield and protect. So we're we're protected against Lock. We're not so much protected against um Elena, uh, Elena because she's more magic based. We got Lock buff, so that's a good thing. Uh, Joker. Okay, Joker's gonna do his guarantee hit because he's. Pretty far away. How much is damage gonna do though? Does a lot of damage, but she survived it pretty well. All right, Locks gonna move in. Dispel dagger. I think that removes my protect. I'm not too sure. Lilila is gonna go after Lock and knocks him out. Okay, so we got rid of a courage. That's good. What is? Ah, oh, we got a miss from Tifa, but that's fine. Joker might have the accuracy to hit both of them. And he does. Knocking both of them out. Elena didn't get her courage up? I thought she did. Oh, wow. This actually changes the battle. I Every time I see Elena, I'm always thinking they do their courage first. I mean, that's how I set up minds. So, she probably didn't because maybe she did her AoE buff instead. Um, that's the only thing I could think of. And there goes Tifa because she can't really take magic hits too well. Lilia's out of range, but Joker should be able to take out um, Velis on his own. Maybe not, because Velis uh, took that pretty well and healed up really quick. <coughs> I don't like how Joker's moving too close to him. Um, Lilia's doing major da damage to keep him heal locks, and down goes uh, Velis. Alright, so we got our second win, so that's good. Oh, we get 24 points because I guess because um, that was two wins in a row. So if we win this one, we actually might get a promotion. And I still got to use Sorrel. So this is going to be interesting. Per my rules, I have to use Sorrel. <laughs> Anyone else would be like, I'm just not going to use these units. Well, they probably won't even pick these units anyway. <laughs> um... Hmm. I'm thinking hard for no reason. I don't even know who's gonna be my, uh, who I'm gonna face against. <laughs> I wonder how things would have went if Quicken and Haste were not nullified. I guess I I bet things would have been a lot harder. Oh, we got Earth and Light, and there's a Celis in there to boot. <sighs> hmm. You know what? We'll give we'll give this a shot. I don't know how well it's gonna do, but uh, if they use their Earth team, which I have a feeling they're not, then I have uh, an advantage. If they use Celis, I still have some of a, um, somewhat of an advantage. Uh. The only thing I'm worried about is Jaden because I'm not using my Celis. Maybe they didn't pick Jaden, and that's why I'm hoping that they didn't pick Jaden. They picked their two light units on the bottom, which is Thancred and I think Lucille. And Tifa should be able to tank down pretty okay, especially if she gets her Protect and Shell. Uh, so Jaden was picked, so this is gonna be an issue if we can't if we can't take him out quickly enough. And since Celis is the complete opposite direction of 
my Sorel, she's not going to be able to re uh, remove that Runic Blade in time. Uh, so let's see, will she even go towards... She She's going towards that way, so maybe that will help, but Jaden has a lot of range. And he's probably going to snipe my units. So let's see what happens here. Alright, the light units are moving and Tifa's moving closer to Celis. Celis takes the hit pretty well. And she has de jamming dress on, so that might be an issue for Lil Leela. Um, if she continues with these casting stuff. Alright, so we got a destructing axe, which does over half. So, um, Sorel took that last pretty well. See, Lil Leela didn't get a chance to hit because she did destructing axe on Lucio. And she goes down, which kind of sucks. Alright, so we got another blast. Tifa took that pretty well also. Um, Celis took her hit. Mm, what's going to happen? Oh, full life. But, hmm. L Lucio's doing his LB on, on Lil Lila. Will she be able to take the hit though? She does. So she's going to revive uh, Sorel. Will Sorel get a turn? Alright, so Jaden went after Tifa because Tifa had aggro. Okay. Sorrel did her job, took down um, Celis, uh, and uh, Lil Lila took down Lucio. Oh my god. Jaden summoned Bahama. How much damage that's going to do? It's, pro it's most likely going to knock out Lil Lila. I just don't know if it's going to knock out Sorrel. And even if it doesn't, I think she's out of AP. So we might still we might lose this one. Yeah, see it knocks out Lil Lila. Let's see what uh Sorrel does. Yeah, she's out of AP. Oh Jaden. Uh we won. <laughs> I thought Jaden had more health than that. Oh man. Oh really? Really? <laughs> That's not fair. One point away? Come on. You couldn't give me one point? I gotta win one more? Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, come on. I'm trying to get to gold before this. <laughs> that was a hard earned win right there. Ugh. That was hard earned. <sighs> Off by one. I am highly upset about that. <laughs> oh, okay. What do we got here? Win. Earth Lightning. Um. All right, I'll do this. I'm pretty sure Jew Maid's gonna get picked as a tank. Um, either Ibarra or Leela gets picked. But there's an off chance that neither will get picked. Small chance. <laughs> I'm thinking about that one point. Oh man. Uh, at least. It means even if I lose this one, I have one more shot at gold. Gold one. One more shot. One more. One more. This, these loading times, I've said this so many times, <laughs> are atrocious. It, it, it builds up the suspense. It's like, okay. Can we get to it? Uh, maybe he disconnected. Maybe the person disconnected. That would be awesome. If I start the battle, they disconnected. Alright, so they chose their win team. So at least... Oh! Skyfire. I believe that's the... Um, I see that person on Reddit. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, to see how this goes. <laughs> That t uh oh okay I got my bells off. That little Leela is gonna do be a major issue if I don't take care of her. I don't think I'm gonna have um accuracy for 
to be. But we'll have to see. Alright, so what Curry's gonna do? Frostbite? Oh, that Jume is very, very defensive. Alright, yeah, Leela's on healing. And 2B is gonna be doing attack. Alright, Curry got bells up, so that's good. Alright. <sighs> Alright, so Joker here is gonna do his LB. So let's see. This knocks out Jume, that's great. And almost knocks out Tifa. I mean, 2B. Uh. Alright, so we got another heal, so it looks like uh, Little Lila's on heal support. What is Joker going to do? Not much, because he's out of AP. And that proc. <laughs> Alright, Little Lila's down. But re-raised. Uh, I didn't realize she re-raised. Another cure. Alright. Joker needs to do something. Alright, he gained some AP, so that's good. He's taking hits pretty well. Uh, alright, so we got an Odin here. Is that gonna knock out Lil Lila though? Uh, I should skip this. <laughs> no, let's keep it. Makes it a bit longer. And does knock out Lil Lila. Okay. So now, 2B's left. Uh, she dodges this hit, which sucks. And knocks out, uh, Joker. We got enough for Sharpshoot. Alright. Reflex, reflex, yes, yes, reflex. All right, we got enough for no sharpshoot. I think so. KO, yes, Curry for the win. Oh yes. Okay, Skyfire from if that Skyfire from Reddit. Good match. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god. Um, that was a close one. Oh my god, Curry with the win! Yes! And I got to go. Even if I lose my next match, I mean, I don't want to lose my next match. We'll stay in gold. Gold won. Meaning, when this happens again, uh, quick pick matches, I'm pretty sure the um, seasons are different between this and class matches. I start, I go one instead of going down. And that just brings me closer to platinum. Oh my god, Curry, you're awesome. <laughs> that sharpshoot was awesome. Uh, Joker landing his defense. Oh, let me focus. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> well, I can't pick my win team for this at all. Uh, well, yeah, I have to do this. They probably will pick their Earth team. Uh, but I'm just safe for doing this. <laughs> oh my god, Curry. Curry won me that. He definitely won me that match. Uh, he got that frostbite off of Lil Lila. Ooh, I, I expect it to be more dodgy. and But she was more on heels than offensively. Um, but yeah. <laughs> that... That was a good match. Alright, so they did pick their Earth team. They're they're more confident with the Earth stuff. I just couldn't take the risk of using my um win team. Part of me wanted to, but I it's just better I don't. If I could get a aim fire on Curry, then I got a shot. Alright, so what we got here? Frostbite all three. But no one got frostbite. Frostbite barrage. No one got frostbite, Sally. Uh, this guy here. <laughs> uh, what's his name? Noctix is buffing everyone up, which is not good. And he's a bit dodgy too. But Cells just sucks at uh, uh, hitting people. All right, we might get uh, a double hit here, which I think it was. So let's see how much this damage is going to do. Okay, Oberon's knocked out. Good. He's a threat. Uh, Noctis is more of a threat. Uh, we, we got Drain Force going. Uh, Zelda's going to do his, her LB, but I saw Noctis turn around. So he's definitely dodging. 
Uh, Katolin's always going to dodge. Curry's out of AP, but he got a hit off. No reflex, sadly. Uh, so it's all up to Joker. Alright, so Joker knocks out Noctis. So all we have left to deal with is Katone. Katone's drain forcing Celis to death. So now it's just down Joker or Katone. What Joker's going to do here. One shot kill. Almost one shot kills. Uh, I don't think... I'm not sure Katone has her... Uh, and we won. I don't think she has her uh, Master Ability 2 just yet. Uh, I know she once she does, she becomes a problem. <laughs> all right. We've won five in a row. All you need was three wins, and we won all five. Um, I'm happy about that. MVP Curry. Curry's MVP. Um, I don't think I've done a review on him, but I'm letting you guys know right now. Curry is up there. If I haven't said this already, Curry is actually up there as one of the top MR units thanks to his um, Mastery 2 ability, which if I didn't show it off, um, I don't remember. This is this is like nine episodes or something. Just in case I didn't show it off, I'll show it off here again. Um, he gains range 2 as part of his Mastery 2 ability as well as frostbite activation rate up. And having long range frostbite is very powerful. Um, so that's why he becomes um, a top tier MR unit. Like up there MR unit. Uh, on top of that, you know, gains the elemental buffs for ice units, um, giving them charge resistance and HP up. And I think his other thing was, no, yeah, that's it. Because the other stuff he already had, or I don't know, like he probably, gained, I think he gained one more thing or two more things, whatever. The most important thing is the range two on his, on the master ability and the frostbite activation. That is the main thing you only have to worry about. Um, because if you EX him, his, um, you have his range buff on all the time to give him more accuracy and uh, acquire AP up. And then his, the second support, you do whatever you want. Uh, him having access to Emerald Echo makes him even better. If I had, if this was a bigger map and he would buff more, and I had, and, and if I had Summer Livis Trustmaster reward. He could shoot from far away because um, com that buff gives it pl gives units uh the units that the unit that uses is plus two range, so he has plus three naturally plus two more five range. He will hit from far away on a large map for at least two turns, and that's good. But I'll try to show that off when if and when I get summer limits because I do not have her. Uh, and the only reason I would want her is just for her trust master, unless they do really good with her master ability too. Uh, other than that, uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for the support that, um, you guys left in the comments. I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Laters.